Imagine a world where medical procedures evolved to meet the changing needs of society. What would that mean for practices like circumcision? Traditionally, circumcision has been a common practice for various reasons, from religious and cultural customs to health benefits. Yet, questions are being raised about its relevance in contemporary society and the potential alternatives on the horizon. It's a controversial topic that stirs up strong emotions, but one that also opens up possibilities for a future where medical practices are not just accepted but critically examined. Circumcision as we know it involves the removal of the foreskin from the male genitalia, a practice rooted in ancient traditions. However, in the light of modern medical knowledge, many are questioning the necessity of this procedure. Concerns about the pain experienced by the infant, potential complications, and the ethical implications of performing a non-consensual procedure are increasingly being voiced. Moreover, the medical benefits, often cited as a reason for circumcision, are being scrutinized. The risk of urinary tract infections, sexually transmitted diseases, and penile cancer are indeed lower in circumcised males. Yet these conditions can also be prevented with proper hygiene and safe sex practices. This raises a question. Are the potential risks of circumcision outweighed by the benefits? This agitation is not without basis. The debate is fueled by the fact that the foreskin is not a superfluous organ, but serves several functions. It protects the penile glands, enhances sexual pleasure, and plays a role in natural lubrication. When we consider these factors, it becomes clear that the decision to circumcise should not be taken lightly. So, what does the future hold for circumcision? Emerging technologies and medical advancements could offer solutions. For instance, non-surgical alternatives to circumcision are being explored. Methods that do not involve the complete removal of the foreskin, but still provide the purported health benefits, could be a viable option. Another potential solution is the development of consent-based procedures. This would involve delaying the decision to circumcise until the individual is old enough to understand the implications and give informed consent. Such an approach respects individual autonomy and could revolutionize the practice of circumcision. In conclusion, the future of circumcision is not set in stone. It is evolving, shaped by societal attitudes, medical knowledge and technological advancements. As we move forward, it is essential to continue the conversation, question accepted norms and ensure that medical practices serve the best interests of the individual. Remember, the goal is not to eliminate tradition, but to adapt it to a world where knowledge, consent and personal autonomy are held in high regard. The future of circumcision could well be a testament to this evolution.